Big guard! What's poppin' y'all? Phil the Russell, Southeast Missouri State Big Guard. This my day in the life. Glad to have you on, uh, you know, episode one. 30 days good. before tip off. Let's Gotta be out in Cape. Let's be great. How we gonna start today? Uh, first, I'm gonna start off with some little breakfast right up the road and then head to this little workout. Hey, let's start breakfast. This, this is actually my gas station, just the roads, right up the road from the crib. Go right off. Go right up there. Go right off. So the show me center, that's where we get down at. Yeah. Okay, morning workout. Who's working with? Uh, my guy, Coach Wheeler, okay. Connor Wheeler. Okay. Transfer from SIU. He knew on the staff. All right, so look, we're about to finish this breakfast. He got his breakfast sandwich, so now, you know, it's time to finish it off. What's poppin' y'all? It's your boy Big Guard live on the first episode of 30 Days Before Tip-Off. We here at CMO. In the background, we got Philip Russell. Right here, we got Coach Willow. How you doing today? Doing great. How you doing? Pretty good. Can't complain. In the morning, morning work. What's the importance of just morning work showing from a player and his discipline? Right. I think the biggest thing is just the fact that he wants to get up and do it. You know, he's on his time right now. He's got class later today, uh, but he wants to get in, get some work in, you know, make sure practice isn't the only time he touches the ball. All right, it's your first year coaching Phil, you know what I'm saying? But you coached against him in the past. What are some things that you just want to fine-tune in his game? I think just getting him more, you know, staying consistent, staying locked in at all times. You know, one thing about Phil, he's going to work. He's going to do what he does. Um, just continuing to build days, build off things, continue to grow in everything he does. Okay, we got Coach Willow live here at Southeast Missouri State. Hey, they're doing it the big guard way. Can we get a big guard one time? Hey, big guard, man. Big guard, big guard. Let's get it. Stay in this. That elbow. That elbow. Here in the Breakfast Club with my man Philip Russell in the background, getting his shots in early and finishing his breakfast. All my big guards, remember, you a student and then you're an athlete. So the earlier, the better. Just finished my breakfast, and now I'm headed to class. I'm a student athlete, student first, athlete second. But we just got that work in. Hey, no cap. Well, I want to break this club. Go ahead and go to class. Go Red Hawks. Shout out Big Guard. Name is Brad Korn, head men's basketball coach here at SEMO. Uh, entering our third year. Uh, I came from Kansas State as an assistant the past four years. I worked at Missouri State for three years. Uh, I worked at SIU Carbondale for seven years. And I also played at SIU Carbondale. Uh, for five years under Coach Weber and Matt Painter. Uh, I, I try to always try to uh, coach the guys how I'd want to be coached, uh, how I think I was coached by Coach Weber and Coach Painter. Uh, pretty fair. Try to keep it somewhat lighthearted because it can be a stressful, uh, you know, guys are trying to play at their maximum level and things don't always go right. So try to try to find where they're at um, and still keep it somewhat lighthearted. Tell a couple jokes here and there, just in the, in the midst of when you probably didn't think one was going to happen, uh, but still trying to hold them to a standard that we need here in order for us to, to win. So uh, I guess that probably nowadays would be considered a, a player's coach. Our staff is, uh, we've been very lucky here to get the guys that we've had. Um, we had to bring in two new guys this year, uh, but last year, uh, two coaches, one got a head job, and another moved back out west. Um, and just now with the staff that we have, it's they love basketball, which seems weird. It's like, well, yeah, you guys should love basketball. They love all aspects of basketball. You know, some guys just like the recruiting. Some guys just like the office. Some guys just like practice. The staff we have, they love all facets of, of the program and um, getting in there with the guys and, and being able to be one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, They have a lot of freedom here to, to interject and to be themselves because I want them to grow and, and to move on and um, chase their dreams too, you know, not just the players but also the coaches. So I, I feel very blessed to have the guys that we have here, and I think that they're phenomenal. Coaches. Practice. We talk about practice. Live at practice. About to get active. 30 days before tip off here in the building. Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Southeast Missouri State, man. Philip Russell. Mr. Flex's muscle. What up? Come on, big man. You get him, man. Come on, man. Come on, Vic! <laughs> Originally from St. Louis, Vashon High School. When you think about the V, what's the first thing that come to your mind? Uh, the jungle, 
First thing anything come to mind is the jungle. Uh, it's hard. I ain't gonna say it's hard, but like it's tough. Cause they ain't raising no, they ain't they ain't grooming no weak guys to come in. Ain't no weak guys that's coming out the V. So I think of the V, I think a tough jungle. Now you hear at Simo. But tell us about your time at SLU and what you was able to learn that you're playing behind the nation leader in the system. Well, it's crazy you said that. Somebody asked me, like, you should never went there. You should never went there from the get go. I actually, if, if I had to remake my decision, I'd do it again. Like, because I learned so much from my big cousin. It's crazy. Like, fighting through adversity is success to me, honestly. You get through adversity, you really can get through anything. What makes this team different from last year's team? Uh, I say the chemistry and the relationships. Uh, I tell a lot of guys like to be around each other. Last year we ain't really, you know, we weren't really jailing. Yeah, we ain't jail, and it really sometimes showed in games. So for small guards like me, I would say you got to be able to shoot the ball. Honestly, uh. Another thing, get you a floater. Just guys like us, we don't want to get too deep. Another thing, um, the simple play is the best play. All right, Coach Piggy, that's my dog. Like, that's my dog. Like, I can call him for anything, count on him for anything. Uh, oh, honestly, like Coach Pig, he probably the biggest reason I'm here. Being from St. Louis, uh, knowing him, watching him through high school, uh, when I got to see more, I knew Phil was the guy we had to have. I'm going to be me. I'm gonna tell you that now, I'm just be me out there. I'm gonna have fun, I'm gonna play hard as I can. And whatever happens, happens. Good job, we'll see you tomorrow. Good job, y'all boys. Good job, y'all boys. Come watch yourself on film. We'll start watching film starting uh, Thursday, but come watch yourself. Let's get it, y'all. Family on three, one, two, three. Hey. Stack day, stack day. Phil Russell, I'm about to learn how to make a Domino's pizza. Follow me. Boom, sit here. Boom. Did you say like throw a little more on her? Yeah, yeah, cornmeal. You're never gonna have too much cornmeal. Okay. Yeah, that's up there. Nice. Full scoop. scoop. Right in the oh. Looks good. It should be ten and a half. Ten and a half. What's you? Oh, really? What's your What with it? Hold your hands a little higher. It's fair. Fucking care, man. It's all made. Hey, it's all made. 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 Growing up, all I did was to have a pizza that's already made and put it in the oven, but I really learned how to make a pizza today from, from scratch, cut it all the way down the middle. Cut it in half, perfectly in half. Perfect. Yeah, gotta have a little arm strength, I don't know. If, you know <laughs> from practice to work, now I'm about to go deliver this pizza to a happy customer. We finally made it. I'm about to drop this piece off to Miss Emily. Let's do it. Yes, sir, bro. Thank you, Phil and Domino's Pizza Go Red Hawks. He did he did an eight. An eight? An eight. An eight. He really meant to say a ten, right? <laughs> so eight stand for great. Eight stand for great. A day in the life of the big guard, Mr. Philip Russell. You know he know how to flex his muscle. Live from Southeast Missouri State, it was a pleasure. I want to say a special thank you to Coach Corn, Coach Keith Pickett, and the whole Southeast Missouri State basketball team. Your boy Big Guard was live in the building, and I can't wait to see the season that's on his way. 30 days.